Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, welcome to another episode of the Gamer Guru Challenge, a game show all about video games. I would once again, as we're getting down to the last couple of shows, welcome back the gurus, Elise, JT, and Agent Iron Spider. How you guys doing? I'm doing good. How about y'all? Doing good, doing good. Same. Before the show, we were uh, discussing Dragon Age, uh, <laughs> Veilguard. Anything else you wanna you wanna say about that, Elise? <laughs> that I'm really excited and hopeful it's gonna be good. I mean, I could say all kinds of stuff, but we'll be here all day. <laughs> no, I agree. I also hope it's gonna be a a good game. Bioware definitely needs a, a win, uh, I feel like. Um, if this game comes out and it's mediocre, uh, I think it's not going to be good. It, no. It's, it's kind of sad because it wasn't that long ago. We'd hear that such and such a studio was working on the game and go, oh, that'll be a good game. I can't mm. wait to play it. And now it's like, oh, I hope they don't... I hope they do it yeah. correctly. <laughs> nice, they don't nice recovery. Screw it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I have I, I have hope. I have to have hope. Being this is my absolute favorite video game series of all time. So I have to be hopeful. Mm. Um, and I loved Inquisition. Again, have to be hopeful. Um, if there is, a, I guess my last tidbit is if there's anybody who um need something to tide them over until what is it we're assuming it's going to be this fall mm -hmm. or maybe christmas time excuse me the holiday season um read uh to winter nights i i've actually actually been listening to the uh different dragon age audiobook um each one of the prequels I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. In general, they include characters from at least a couple of characters from the prequel books. Hmm. Um, so, and Patrick Weeks wrote the prequel for Inquisition, and he's the lead writer. And The Winter Nights is an anthology, and he wrote two stories, um, two really good stories. Um, in that one, plus all the writing staff and the creative director wrote, um, uh, and the narrative director wrote really good one. So, um, there's hints in there maybe of what gods might, we might see and some of the characters that are, have been announced were in some of the stories in there. So read to Venture Nights or listen to the audiobook. It's not like Boogie Nights, is it? <laughs> no, I wish though. That'd have been cool. And if if I'm not mistaken, I actually most of them are actually free on Audible oh. right now. Could be. I have a paper copy. I old schooled that book because there's a map. <laughs> I got the limited edition with the map in it. So nice. again, nerdy. Of course you did. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't I don't feel like I have time to actually sit down and read hard, hard copies anymore. So it's a lot of audiobooks. That's okay. <laughs> to each his own. Yeah. 100%. Oh, I used to love sitting down and reading books. I just don't feel like I have the time anymore. Well, with that, I think we will get started. So. Yeah. Once again, if you're a first-time viewer, uh, as I mentioned, this is a a show all about uh, video game knowledge. So normally we go through three different segments, basically three different games. Uh, as we go through it, the gurus will be earning points. Whoever has the most points at the end of the show wins a trophy. And of course, whoever has the most trophies at the end of the season will be the grand champion. We also have a few other ways of getting trophies which i will include in this episode as well because we're everybody's trying to catch up to jt because jt is too powerful so uh... <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yep we're gonna go ahead and start out with our first game we're gonna go ahead and 
go back to uh, Bullet Storm, which we have not done in a few shows. So in this game, I have a video game in mind. And based off of the info on that video game, I have five bullet points. So I'll be reading off the bullet points one at a time, and the gurus will be able to buzz in once per bullet point to try and guess what the game is. If they can somehow get the game figured out in the first two bullet points, they will earn 20 points. Uh, after that, it is only 10 points. And we will be using the buzzer program for this one. Looks like everybody is good to go. So we're going to go ahead and start out with this one. So again, name the game. First bullet point. This game or series is known for its incredible cinematics. And I'll also mention that uh, usually the first couple are pretty difficult and then it gets easier as we get deeper into it. Did you say video game series or video game? Either one. Agent Iron Spider. Halo. Halo is incorrect. JT. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic. Star Wars The Old Republic. Incorrect. Want to throw one out, Elise, or should we move on to number two? Final Fantasy. I buzzed, but JT was still up there. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy. Incorrect. Oh. So we'll move on to bullet All point. All great answers to that. Yeah. <laughs> move on to bullet point number two. Uh, the World of Sanctuary. So this game or series is known for its incredible cinematics. And then the World of Sanctuary. JT. Diablo. Diablo is correct. See, you got it right before me, man. I was getting I was like, I, know this I was one. like, what oh, is it? I know. I was like, <laughs> and it's like, ding, I got it. <laughs> I had my hand on the clicker, man. You beat me. I was like, I know this one. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> So the other bullet points on that one, number three was the Primevals. Four was a Haradric Cube. And five was Stay a While and Listen. Oh, that would be so it gets easier there. That would not have helped me. I've only played a tiny bit of Diablo, so. I've only played some <laughs> Diablo 4, but the first first three would have given it to me. Mm. But no, I, I I had it. I just remember the name of the game. Was. Right, right. It was like, uh, uh, oh yeah, JT got it. <laughs> All right, next game. This one comes from Line Walker, so you guys can blame him for this one. Uh, Watching you, Line Walker. <laughs> First bullet point. This game was released in November of 2011. Got to remember any game that came out in 2011. <laughs> also, I didn't fact check this line walker, so hopefully you're not uh, doing crazy to stuff here. <laughs> Agent Iron Spider. Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2, incorrect. Elise. Portal 2. Portal 2, incorrect. <sighs> Line Walker says he's good for it. All right, so he's he's uh, doubling down <laughs> that all of his stuff here is correct. <laughs> That's a very, very vague first clue. <laughs> well, I mean, they're supposed to be. The cinematic well, one was yes. too. There was a crap ton of games that could have theoretically fit that one. <clears throat> I don't even have a guess. Okay. 
Next bullet point is one day in game is 20 minutes in real life. It's an iron spider. Minecraft. Minecraft is correct. Oh, nice. Wow, nice. Good job. <laughs> As soon as you said that, I knew what it was. What was the whole clue again? I didn't hear it all. One day in game is 20 minutes in real life. Oh, cool. Now, I've never played Minecraft, so I, I have no idea. Yeah, I, 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 do. I, I have put a few <laughs> hours into Minecraft. Mostly modded, though. My nephews would have known that, but... Yeah, the other bullet points on that one... Uh, number three, the game has five game modes, including survival, uh, creative, and hardcore. Uh, oh, no creative and hardcore, that would have given it. I would have gotten the creative one. Maybe number not. four is uh, each block is one cubic meter. Yeah, that one too. And then this one is where I probably would have gotten it. The iconic. Wait, you wouldn't have gotten it on the cubic meter? Uh, maybe. But the number five is the iconic Creeper character was originally a coding error by the developers. Oh, that's cool. That is cool to know that. I would have got Creeper down for you. Yeah, I just knew what Creeper was. Yeah. We can let you stay on the channel. <laughs> 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 All right, and then our final round of the game here. Next game, first bullet point. Let me make sure the buzzer's reset. It was not. There we go. Uh, it takes place in the 26th century where the universe is run by the Confederation of Planets. Uh. takes place in the 26th century where the universe is run by the confederation of planets we can move on to the second one nobody's got uh, anything police star trek but you're gonna ask me which one and i don't know if it's star trek online or whatever i'll, I'll take that as an answer uh is incorrect okay sounds good fine <laughs> okay we're gonna move on to bullet point number two cliff blazinski served as the game director oh that doesn't help me. <laughs> no? No. I'm I'm not good with names, especially... I, I'm just not good with names. Now, see, this one could be tricky. Elise. Can I do it again? Yep. Gears of War? Gears of War is incorrect. Ugh. I think I, uh, that was a cliffy game, though, right? It 100% uh, was, yep. <laughs> you are right on that. <laughs> He's an iron spider. Halo. Halo, incorrect. Yeah, Gears of War is what made Cliffy be famous for sort of reinventing the third person cover base shooter. Mm hmm. And I think with that, we'll move on to bullet point number three. This game had a full clip edition. So it takes place in the 26th century where the universe is run by the Confederation of Planets. It's a Cliffy B game. And it had a full clip edition. Hmm, tough one. <laughs> we'll go 
ahead and we'll move on to the next bullet point. So we know Cliffy B was the director. The development studio was People Can Fly. JT. Is this Bulletstorm? It is Bulletstorm. I can't think of a full clip edition. So it's I okay. partially named this game after this game. <laughs> so, nice. yes, that's where Bulletstorm uh, comes from. That's funny. I was beating my head like, what Cliffy game? It's not because the first one, Lee said. Not a, right? Not Gears of War? I was like. like Gears, of Gears of War, yeah. Wah, I was like, got to be coming. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I've actually ne never never played that game, so. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was that other one. You remember that one game, and I can't right now remember what it's called, but it was that hero shooter that he came that came out about the same time as Overwatch, you remember? Yep, the one that got canceled <laughs> yeah, and essentially yeah, shut down his career. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Was that Heroes of the Storm? It wasn't a horrible mm. game. It just had bad timing. It just Overwatch just slapped the shit out of it. Yeah, that's also when um, Battle Royales were hot. And so mm -hmm. that studio, I, I remember this because I played the Battle Royale. Um, that studio scrambled and then tried to make a Battle Royale as quickly as possible. Oh, and did it, it? And they were letting people into the alpha. And then that got shut down. And then he let the Lawbreakers I, he, game. Yeah, yeah that was the yeah. that was the one yeah. that came out that was the hero shooter. Yep. And it was yeah. he was saying it was built as a fast paced one and that had the ball or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. uh, two or something like that that talked or I don't know. I just I felt bad for him because I liked him, but I was like, ooh, <laughs> you you ain't going yeah, to do well. I think he's still doing okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just not as a video game developer anymore. It's just sad. All right. So after round one, we've got JT in the lead with 30. Uh, Agent Iron Spider with 20 and Elise with zero. <laughs> so a lack of time. before we go into round two, uh, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to earn a trophy here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a Jeopardy style question. Uh, this time, there's no betting, no points, none of that stuff. It's just going to be simply, if you get the question correct, you'll get a trophy. Uh, and so I will have you DM me your responses like what we did last week. So here is uh, the question. This toy company manufactured the Nintendo Power Glove in the United States. <laughs> so this toy company manufactured... The Nintendo Power Glove in the United States. Yeah, just DM me your your answer here. Give you guys like 30 seconds. Did anybody, uh, either of you guys ha actually have that thing? No, but I had a friend at school that had it. Um, and I remember going over to Derek Meyer's house and checking out. It, it was great. All of us like line up to play that at his house it was great yeah i feel like that i mean that they've no company has tried to do anything like that since and so one of them interesting experiments all right i have all of your answers all right here's how we're gonna do this uh we will start with jt what was your answer I was just thinking of toy companies like going to Hasbro. Okay. And then Agent Iron Spider, what was your answer? What is Hasbro? All right. The two of you are incorrect. Ah. And Elise, what is your answer? Was I supposed to put it in the form of a question for real? No. Technically <laughs> Jeopardy style. That's what you do. I don't remember that being stated at the beginning. I said Mattel. He said Jeopardy style. <laughs> I mean, I can say, what is Mattel? There you go. Elise says Mattel. Mattel is correct. Grats. I had a 50-50 between those two, and I was like, uh, Hasbro. I mean, I'm pretty sure Hasbro did do some video game console accessories though wouldn't surprise me yeah 
I agree. All right. I wanted so. to get off the zero. I wanted to at least uh, get off the goose egg there. So my work is done today. Oh, you get a <laughs> I mean, you, get a trophy, but... <laughs> you have you have three trophies to my one. I would say I have a little bit more of a goose egg. That was more than points, at least. That was a trophy right there. <clears throat> That's worth what, like three hundred points? <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 we've been going about three. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and we'll move on to game number two. This is a uh, a fan favorite, I feel like. We're going back to box arts. So in this, in this game, I'm going to show the gurus some video game boxes where I have removed the titles, and they have to tell me what the name of the game is. And the boxes are potentially worth more than 10 points so a quick example is if i show the box art of the last armored core game if they tell me it's armored core that's 10 points if they say it's armored core let's say six that's 20 points if they say it's armored core six fires a rubicon that's 30 points and this is where we use the spreadsheet last time yes yep yep uh. you can uh take time and, and write down the three games now, here on this show, we have a, a little bit of a, uh, a running theme. Some might even call it a, uh, a joke, maybe? Pokemon. Um, Pokemon. Is Elise yeah, cause, not going every, like this? Because everybody no. knows that Elise is the, uh, no. the, the this Pokemon. This is going to be freaking Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. The Pokemon here's master. The, here's the thing, um, though, Elise. I won't do well with this either because I haven't played any of the games. Oh my god. He did honor my request to oh, give me a no. games before he pulled this stuff up. Okay. Now, I will say with this, uh, I will go ahead and show you guys the image. So here <laughs> is the, uh, the image. Telling me Pokemon will give you zero points this time around. But you have to tell that. So, so it's we have to say which Pokemon game so it's they are. Pokemon uh, what? Pokemon oh, what? Wow. For okay. these three uh, selections here. Oops. So I'm going to give you guys 60 seconds. You can start anytime. Would you say go? Yep, go ahead. You can tell me what uh, one, oh. two, and three are. So we have us. Uh, um, Game Boy, we have a Nintendo Switch, and we have a Nintendo 3DS. So are we talking about the ones at the top? Because there's more than three boxes on this picture. So the reason yeah, why there's more saying. than three boxes is because generally with Pokemon, they will release a single and game, but there's multiple versions of that game that get released at the same time. So I'll give you an example. So this is this is one that's not. So like the most recent one is Pokemon Sword and Shield. So there's a sword box and a shield box. But the title of the game is Pokemon Sword and Shield. So that's what I'm showing you here. I'm showing you the different variations so, that combine for the title. So we would say the two together in one if we wanted to try and go for the two together? Correct. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so no. one and three are exactly what I just described, like Pokemon Sword and Shield, except for they're different than what I just said. Right. <sighs> I'll give you guys like an extra 30 seconds since we had to explain that oh, one. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. I might need what? Two. I don't know. Three. I don't know. I'm, I'm right there with you. <laughs> I think I might have gotten the first one. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe. I would have to go back and check the database. I think number one is the first one released ever. Chat, you guys can tell me otherwise, but I think it is. Number one is the one everybody played back in the day. Because everybody had a Game Boy, and then these two games came out along with the cartoon. and <laughs> Along with the cartoon. Yeah, two, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I just Line, didn't yeah. guess. Yeah. Linewalker says, number one are the original Pokemon games. I, I, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. I will have you guys stop right there. Also, if you can give me just one second here, I need to make a quick adjustment. 
to my spreadsheet. All right, let's start with uh, Elise. Oh, great. You're just trying to just like this, just twist the knife. All right, that's cool. That, that, that's cool. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> so what you got for number one? Um, totally a guess. Um, so I have Pokemon Fire and Ice. I remember there is a fire game. I don't know if that's water or ice. I don't know, but it's a YOLO. So okay. two, got nothing. Okay. And three, I'm totally guessing it's Pokemon Gold. I have no idea. I have no idea. So right. that's my best. That's my best effort. There you go. Okay. JT? <clears throat> uh, for the first one, I've got... Um, I remember some of them, and I don't know if it's these were <laughs> colors. So Pokemon Red and Blue. Okay. The uh, second one, I got Pokemon uh, Legends. I see a lot of them on there, so I'm throwing that out there. It's, it sounds like a game title. So. <laughs> and last one, Pokemon Sun and Night. Mm. Okay. Uh, Agent Iron Spider? I had Pokemon Red and Blue, okay. Pokemon Adventures, okay. and Pokemon Night and Day. Pokemon Adventures, that sounds like a good time. Okay. Very interesting answers here. So I will uh, <sighs> unveil that to uh, the stream here, and then I will give you guys uh, your good copy there. So, it is indeed red and blue. It is then Pokemon Legends Arceus. And then Agent Iron Spider was so close. Sun and Moon. Mm. Actually, that is Pokemon oh. Legends. Yep. Yep, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yep. So, that means that he got at least part of that credit on two? He got partial credit, so he gets 10 points. But... Yeah, that's what I said. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. so. Yeah, and so that's forty points to JT and twenty to Agent Iron Spider. What I said, sun and night, not uh... Yep, instead of sun yeah. and moon. Yep. So now uh, there Ali... should be a Pokemon night and day. Yeah. Night. <laughs> Have no idea. So now Elise, I want you to know that I'm a, a very fair. Uh, direct, <laughs> director of this show. Okay. So we'll it's make, gonna be Laura Croft. We'll make the uh, other once. two do the Tomb Raider <laughs> special now. <laughs> oh no! Oh yay! Okay. So you guys got. No, hold one, on. I'm trying to get this up. One minute to uh, oh. do the oh, the shoot, Tomb Raider games. The third one. So we got two Xbox Ones and then a PlayStation. And you can probably imagine these were probably released on multiple systems. Yeah, I need to get around to because when they rebooted the uh, franchise, like, I don't know what, seven years ago or whatever the heck it was, I yeah. played that first one. And then I've played like most of the second one, and then I haven't touched the third one. They're good games. I need to go back and just play them all. I actually beat them. Oh. Yeah. Two. That's got about 10 seconds. Oh my god, I'm behind. I'm choking on this one, so don't feel bad. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'll have you stop right there. <clears throat> and this time we will start with JT. Oh, and once again, Tomb Raider gets you nothing, but you have to... If Tomb Raider's in the title, you have to make sure you give that to me. Oh, wow. I forgot to write that down. Okay. Yeah, if you just verbally give it to me, it's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, JT? Um, the first one, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Okay. Uh, second, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Okay. 
Uh, last one. Um, uh, sunglasses of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Okay. Not oh, one. Uh, Agent Iron Spider. Uh, I had Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and I just said Tomb Raider 4 for the third one. Okay. Elise? I didn't do well on this one, so I appreciate the, uh, the, the fairness, but I had Rise and then I skipped the, se the second one. Okay. Because I was focused on the third one, so, and I said, so the first one I had uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, middle one I missed, and then I had Tomb Raider Legend for the third, which I don't think is right, but... Okay. Yeah. Yep, you were, uh, you were close on the second one, or on that third one. So... Uh, here's the uh, the master list, and you guys got the other ones uh, correct. So it is Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and then Tomb Raider Chronicles there for the PlayStation. Oh, man, I was close. So I JT and Agent Iron Spider both get 20. And then Elise <clears> gets 10. <throat> All right. We'll, uh, we'll get out of... Uh, the crazy categories there. So this one, I'll give you a little bit of an explanation for. That's not good. Yeah, that's that's not. So <laughs> as you can see here, it is going to be another uh, Xbox 360 special, but you will notice that they are all Pandemic games. If you don't know, Pandemic was a sub studio of Bioware. They released uh, a few games and then essentially got shut down and merged into Bioware. So we got three games here from Pandemic in the 360 era. So your 60 seconds starts Okay, now. I am so... Oh, okay. Or what was your question? My, my dog was sitting at the door just crying, so I missed part of what you just said, but it's okay. Oh, no, I was just saying that they're all <laughs> from Pandemic, which is a... I'm sure you know what Pandemic is. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, one of these games got a... Um, a Steam release not that long ago, and I know people were very happy about that. Actually, there was a bunch of, like, back catalog EA games that came to Steam... Like what, six months ago? And yeah, one of them. The middle game was actually a game that I played uh, quite a bit. Uh, Jennifer Hale actually voices the uh, female main character in, in that game. I mean, she's always done so much Bioware stuff. But... All right, give you guys like 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, and this time we start with Agent Iron Spider. Well, I'm not familiar with this studio. So, I've got nothing for one and two, but I think three is a Lord of the Rings game. Okay. Oh, good call. Uh, Elise. Um, I really only have the first one, and that's Saboteur. Okay. Um, oddly enough, Mike Laidlaw suggested that I play this game over beers <laughs> at a cantina for Star Wars The Old Republic. <clears throat> Were you a fan of the agent storyline? I was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suspect you were probably talking to him about that then. 
I was not. I mean, because he was a bio, he was the Bioware creative director. So like, I wasn't. I was thinking about, but you know, trying to see if he could give me some deets on the, the game after Inquisition or something. And mm. he wasn't. He wasn't talking. All right. And then just nothing for the other two. Um, I had mercenaries and for the second one, and the last one was a guess that would have been wrong. So. Okay. Uh, JT. For the first game, I had the summer tour. <laughs> Second game, I had mercenaries. Tough guys use their teeth. <laughs> um, and the uh, last one, uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, some sort of game. <laughs> That's a weird subtitle. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <laughs> you, you know what made me realize the third one was Lord of the Rings? What's the that? wizards. I was going to say the wings on the armor. No, I, I was that's what I like when you said that. I looked at it like, oh man, that is that's <laughs> oh. the freaking uh, the uh, yeah. Usually, no. you can tell because the orcs only have that little thin eye slit for their helmets, so they can't see anything. So, yep, we got the Saboteur, we got Mercenaries 2, World in Flames, and the Lord of the Rings Conquest. So, Are you sure it's not tough guys use their teeth? I'm 30 for JT, sure. 20 for Elise, and 10 for Agent Iron Spider. At least I got some point. <laughs> I was stumped when you showed those. <laughs> well, I, as you saw, I also said Mercenaries JT, so I was also in the tough guys use their teeth. But well, I mean, it's mercenaries too. <laughs> yeah, but we should get at least some kind of credit for that. We said the word mercenaries was in our answer. Yep, and you did. So that one would have been with 30 points. So mercenaries, two, and then world in flames. Yep. All right. So after the first two <laughs> rounds. We got JT at 120, Agent Iron Spider at 70, and Elise at 30. How do I have 70 points? Hey. I will, uh, once again, um, we will be doing another question for another trophy. So we'll do that before we go into the third and final round. So once again, I'll have you guys uh, DM me your answers on this one. <clears throat> the question not to be confused with the prime video series this title was the first console game developed by playstation studio naughty dog not to be confused with the prime video series this title was the first console game developed by playstation studio Naughty Dog. For PlayStation. Anybody in chat have a, an answer to this one? Now, not to be confused with the Prime Video series, this title was the first console game developed by the PlayStation Studio Naughty Dog. Give you like 15 more seconds. I feel like my guess, guess is wrong, but. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna need some answers. <laughs> Good to hear that I'm not the only one. Tom. Did you get mine, kid? Yep. Hmm. 
one thing I forgot to do. Actually, here we go. I was going to grab the uh, the box art for this one so that I could show it to you. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right. Uh, Agent Iron Spotter, you want to check? I don't see one from you. I, that's because I, I don't have one. I thought I had one, but then I realized it wasn't correct. Make a guess, man. Make a guess. All right. Yolo that in. Okay. Nope. I, I yellowed what is, it. What does chat think it is first? What does chat think it is first? Um, nobody in chat has it correct. Well, so we can use our uh, cheat code anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought about using it, but then I thought, hmm, I bet you chat doesn't. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Come on, chat. So, JT, what'd you have for this one? Um, I had simply no clue the game. Okay. Uh, clue is not correct. Oh, no clue. Okay. Uh, Elise. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot is incorrect. And uh. Agent Iron Spider? So, I yellowed maybe they did a, fall, uh, a, a game, uh, a Fallout titled game. Not necessarily related to the, to the other Fallout games. So I said Fallout. That's a that's a good guess. So all of you are incorrect, and here is the correct answer. Uh, okay. Rings of Power. I don't remember that game. I I, I kind of blanked out that 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 show anyway. So. It's actually not bad. Yeah, I was going to say, the show's not bad. I don't know that game at all. Me either. The only one I remember is uh, I thought Crash was the first game they did for the console, PlayStation console. But yeah, I, yeah. Um, I knew they did that. What was it? Some kind of like skateboard game or something before that, which was like Naughty Doll's like first, first, first game. <laughs> yep. So here's the here's the wiki. Rings of Power is a 1992 role playing game developed by Naughty Dog and published by EA for the Sega Genesis. But I thought you said it was the first game on PlayStation. No. Oh. Oh, because she even asked that. I asked that. And he I didn't respond. Ah, uh, I see. No, because so, uh, so I said, not to be confused mm. with the Prime Video series. Yeah. So Lord of the Rings. Uh, this title was the first console game developed by PlayStation Studio Naughty Dog. Oh, I thought you see, said the Primal series, Please, not I would... Prime of. I thought you said Primal. <laughs> no, he said the Primal now that series. Clue, I get the clue now. Like, yeah, Rings of Power. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, move, moving, I... moving <laughs> forward, I might have to do just... Uh, the blue cards for you guys so you can read it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was I primal, totally so I was like... That's why I saw ba Crash Bandicoot, because I'm like, that's the first PlayStation Naughty Dog game. And I, I was like, <laughs> when you said that, I was like, but there's been no Prime series of that show. I didn't even care about the Prime series. Like, that was like, I thought, thought that was a trick question. <laughs> All right, we will go ahead and move into the third and final game. And everybody knows what it is. It's the Gaming Family Feud. All right. So get your tea out, JT. What? Get get your get your stuff so you can uh, you know, be calm for the uh family, the family that has been quizzed in this. I'm just throwing up guesses now for this community. But... <laughs> I mean, you usually win it anyway, so there is that. So yes, top five answers on the board. If I ask Elise for the best RTS and she says League of Legends, if that's the top answer, she gets 50 points. It then goes 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Uh, we will always start each round in reverse order of whoever has the uh, fewest points. Great. So the first gaming family feud today is going to be name a genre 
that we have not seen a Sonic game in. So name a genre that we have not seen a Sonic game in. And I will say one of these could be considered a controversial answer. And we will be starting with Elise. Of course. Um, and I don't play Sonic games. Um... So yeah, like what would the community think? All right, Sonic, there's never been a Sonic game in this genre. Um, uh, uh, and I don't know the correct category because I got this wrong last time when this was a question, but a card, like a like computer a CCG? Card, or card game, game or whatever. Yes, that's my answer. Okay. Uh, card game, CCG, or anything similar to that, not on the list. He's an Iron Spider. Uh, Real-time strategy. Real-time strategy or RTS is the 40-point answer. Really? I thought there was one. And that's not the controversial one. That I mean, was going to be my first really guess. Can you really see Sonic but... being in an RTS? Yes, yes. I can. He's fast. <laughs> see? JT, too. Yes, I can. <laughs> All right, JT. He's too fast for that sort of, sort of game. <laughs> MMO. Oh, good guess. Sonic MMO is not on the list. Of course, it's not on the list. <laughs> I said it in my breath before. So, <laughs> back to Elise. So the RTS was the 40 point answer, right? That's what you said? Correct. All right, this probably won't be on the list either, but um, what is it? The Sims game is like a life simulation game or something like a... Yeah, you want to do just like a Life sim or, or or sim in general, perhaps. Yes, yes. Like okay. A, 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 yeah, a like sim. simulation, life sim, not on the list. Yeah. <clears throat> Agent Iron Spider. Let's go a shooter. Shooter, Sonic shooter, or FPS, is the number one answer. Oh wow! Did he mean did he mean FPS? Because he didn't sit. <laughs> <laughs> so that gives you the lead at 160. I wasn't even thinking about a first person shooter. And then we go to JT. That was, actually my, next, JT that was my next. That's what I was going to say. Oh, really? <laughs> Why? He just said shooter. I'm like, we did it. Well, I mean, sh shooter includes both third person and first person shooter. Yep, it does. Those yep. are different. <laughs> I will say that it does. Yep. First shooter. Yep. JT with the final response for this category. All right. A genre that I think would fit, but also be mentioned by the community. A R P G. An A R P G or action R P G. Hmm. Is not on the list. Were they given the same categories of genres? <laughs> can, can, I, can I make a, a non-point guess? Yeah. Battle Royale. Nope, not on the list. Okay. You need to join me down here in the bottom, JT. See, I was trying to think of a bunch of like off-the-wall stuff because like Sonic is well, done a see, whole bunch, I was gonna of, say whole bunch RPG, of crazy stuff. RPG, but technically... <laughs> Hasn't isn't that probably the controversial one that that is the controversial yeah. one? RPG is the twenty point answer. It's definitely had an but RPG. Yeah, but that was the Brotherhood one, right? Yep. The so even like that's why RPG. I didn't put it on there because yep. I'm like, well, they yeah, did an RPG. Yep. Yeah. 
So the ten, so the Boo. ten, po- the ten point answer <laughs> with, that I'm surprised at least didn't get because you were thinking outside the box. Ten point answer is dating sim. Oh, so I was close, man. I said like a Sims game. There's dating in that, but okay, that's fine. And then the thirty point mm. answer that you guys didn't get was horror. Mm. That could be fun. There's only a matter of time before that happens. Yeah. (laughs) Waiting for the original to go into the public domain, and then there'll be a horror game. All right. As we move on. Go ahead. I'm not used to, like, the the Family Feud segment of this game. (laughs) (laughs) Well, sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. Last week I was on this category, but not this week. I I I, th- I think Elise should should get should get the the ten point answer. No, that's okay. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I was close, but it, dating sim and the Sims that life sim they are very different. If I if I yeah. give if <laughs> I give Elise different. the ten, I got to give JT the twenty. He said a RPG. It's, so I'm saying no for both it's of them. Fine. It's so. fine. No, I I didn't say uh, normal no. RPG because of of the one that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I didn't do the RPG because of exactly that. <laughs> well, yeah, because we, we all know there is definitely an RPG. A, a, at least one RPG. Yeah. All right, next category. This one, put your thinking caps. So the second one was name a video game character with the last name of Valentine. And we will be starting with Elise. Oh, man. Name a video game character with the last name of Valentine. I will also mention that there is technically one non-video game answer in here, but it's video game related. Because again, oh, people can just write in whatever they want. So oh, it, it, it is a Valentine, but it's not in a video game. Is this if, does this have to be a player character or can it be an NPC? Can be an NPC, yes. Jill Valentine. That's going to be the number one and you know it. <laughs> I don't know that. Yeah. Jill <laughs> Valentine from Resident Evil is the number one answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there was another one I was thinking of too, but. See, I don't know what I could think of. <laughs> and so we go to JT. I thought there was one from Gears of War, but I can't. Um. Um. I'm gonna go with. I think. Then there a and you know so caliber fighting game and an ivy uh valent valentine jt says ivy valentine from soul caliber that is the 20 point answer funny enough oh i thought he was gonna say not on the list <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was struggling there i was like mm. <laughs> I'm just throwing out names anymore because I I don't you know. All right, Agent Iron Spider. Oh, I I'm not sure on this, so I'm just gonna throw out a name and see if it lands. Uh, Jane Valentine. Jane Valentine. James. Oh, James. Valentine. You said the male version of that. Uh, James Valentine is not on the list. Elise. Nick Valentine. Nick Valentine from Fallout 4 is the 30 point answer. Good job. That's why I asked if NPCs could be it. Excellent. Excellent job. That's all I got. Back to (laughs) JT. All you needed. (laughs) Let's see, Jill, Ivy, what what did you say last time, Agent Iron Spider? I said James. James? 
Yeah, or Jane. We got the 40, 20, and 10 the male point version. answers available. Uh, I'm going to go out uh, Lucy. Lucy Valentine is not on the list. And Agent Iron Spider with the last guess. Go John. John Valentine is not on the list. Oh. That's a good guess, though. That's like the most popular name in the world. Well, that, that was my strategy. Let's throw out <laughs> some good, popular good names that would statistical. work with that last <laughs> name and see, what, and see if they stick. stick. <laughs> no. I would say there's only potentially one big one in here that you missed. Um, a lot of them, again, you got to dive deep like what JT did with Soul Calibur. Uh, the 10 point answer, May Valentine from. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games and then 20 oh. was Ivy the oh sorry one thing I forgot to mention there was a tie there was two 20 point answers on this one so the other 20 point answer was the one that I referenced was not in a video game but adjacent there's an IGN reporter named Rebecca Valentine oh yeah so she made the list <laughs> But she's not a video game character. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Your Nick Valentine. Yeah. She writes some good stuff, though. Yeah. And then Nick Valentine from Fallout was 30. Uh, the big one you missed, the 40 point answer Final Fantasy VII. Vincent Valentine. Wait, name was, his last name was Valentine? Yep. There's a I Vincent almost, Valentine. I almost said Vin. Would you have accepted Vin? Valentine. Pretty sure he always goes by Vincent. Dang it. <laughs> I what don't play say? really Final Fantasy games, so that, that was wasn't it would even have been just a radar. guess, so it wouldn't have mattered. It was a guess. <laughs> yep. And then Jill was, of course, the uh, 50 point answer. All right. Yeah, Jill was the only one on the list that I actually could think of. <laughs> <laughs> So as we go into the uh, final round, uh, Elise actually caught up pretty good there. Elise now has 110, JT with 140, and Agent Iron Spider with 160. Okay. At least I'm not embarrassing myself. Mm -hmm. I feel good about that one. All right, and then our final prompt of the evening. Name a video game villain who is known for their intellect. Name a video game villain who is known for their intellect. And we do start with Elise. Oh my god. Video game, oh. Villain. This one is kind of hard. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to default to my um, Dragon Age favorite, um, Solus. It's not, he's not going to be on the list, but um, I, I'm, I'm going to say Solus. Solus. Because I'm coming up with a blank at this moment in time. I got to think about it some more. Solus is not on the yeah. list. Shocked. Yes. JT. So. Known for their intellect. Well, no, I, it's just a villain, right? It's not like I'm going to have to go with um, uh, an, our, one of our AI overlords. Uh, from Portal, GLaDOS. 
Oh, good call. GLaDOS from Portal is the 40-point answer. Nice. Nice. Thank you, AI. I love you. <laughs> All right, Agent Iron Spider. Let's go for a bit of a classic. Say Dr. Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik, the guy who turns bunnies into little robot things? That guy designs like terrible machines. <laughs> Are you giving him all a lot of those machines? No one wow. said he had to be he didn't say he had to be smart with, with his wow. intellect. All those machines have terrible weak weak spots on them too. He just shamed your answer. I know that's what I just said. <laughs> Ouch. Well, that's because it's a it's the fifty point answer. <laughs> I didn't expect really? Well yep. done. Wow. Oh, no, nice job. job, man. I didn't that. <laughs> oh my! That's funny. <laughs> Congrats, then, man. Community's crazy. Community's crazy. <laughs> uh, so, by the way, quick update: JT one eighty, Agent Iron Spider one ten. <laughs> He's not 110, right? Or 210, sorry. I was going to say, because I thought he just, like, smoked us all, which is fine. I was yep. in there. Yep, in the lead with 210. Oh, wow. Not 110. <laughs> uh, Elise. Handsome Jack. <clears throat> Handsome Ooh, that's Jack. a good one. Yeah, that one should be on the board, but it's not. Oh, my oh. God. That's not Thanks added. for taking my answer, because I was on my thing. But well, I, I saved you a goose egg. Uh, yeah, but I don't have one to say now. He really should be on the list. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually thought he, when you put you down at 110, I thought he was shaming you for your answer there. Yeah, <laughs> That's negative 100 points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JT, with your final guess. Uh, um, hmm. Handsome Jack was on there for me. So, uh, I know. Known for their intellect. Uh, Which we just proved means nothing. Intellect does <laughs> okay, not mean I get, smart. I, okay, there we go. That's true. I, um, uh, oh, um, if. Uh, I'm going to say um, it worked for me last time. I'm going to another AI from Brainiac from, uh, as I believe he's in the DC games, uh, the fighting games, right? Yeah, I'll I'll give that to you. Just Brainiac uh, in any of the DC yeah. games, really. Uh, Brainiac is not on the list. Uh, Can well, I say go. one? Uh, no well, points. Agent Iron Spider gets the final, final guess. Oh, okay. He's got it uh, locked in, so it's uh, whatever. Let's go with but. Seraph. Seraph? Oh, Seraph. Seraph Fine. is not on the list. So can I ask one that's for no points? Yeah. Uh, Shodan. Another AI overlord. Shodan is not on the list. Yeah, see. I wouldn't have gotten any. Although the Gladys was a very good, but I wouldn't have thought about Gladys. I wasn't even. I wouldn't have either until you, so, until you said it. <laughs> yeah. So the three. I honestly didn't think that Doctor Robotnik would be higher than twenty. <laughs> yeah, people are crazy. Uh... So the ones you missed. Uh, I'm actually surprised that nobody got the ten point answer because this a answer actually came up a couple shows ago. Uh, Albert Wesker from Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. And then it these my get next guess. Yeah. <laughs> the other two are pretty far out there. Uh, Dr. Neo Cortex. Can you, anybody give me the game? Nope. Nope. I right. know. Crash Bandicoot. Because he's like the. I, oh, yeah. And then the 30 point answer. I'm pretty sure this has come up before on this show. 
Again, it's kind of, it's a little out there, but Dr. Wily from the Mega Man series. Yeah, I can see that. So Ooh, with, take, but... with 210 points, Agent Iron Spider wins the day. Congratulations. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. Not sure how that happened. <laughs> Yep, so 210, I, I, 180, and 110 for JT and Elise. So, community be crazy, that's what happened. Mm. Yeah, no handsome Jack. No, grass, Asian, I'm probably a good job. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, handsome Jack should have been on that list. These, mm. like, even when I think of like all the games I've played in the last, let's say, 10 years, like Borderlands 2, like, that story is like really good. It is yeah. very good. It really like, I, th one I, th of I think Doctor Robotnik games. deserved to be on the list, but not as number one. Mm. <laughs> and I've never played um, Portal, so I don't know that character. Oh, yeah. Portal being on the list makes sense. Mm -hmm. Handsome Jack honestly should have been number one. Mm. Mm, right, I mean, that's all right. I just, I'm just shocked it didn't even make the list. But yep. Gladys, Gladys, uh, it was a good one. I mean, classic. I have not played Portal. I have watched Portal. So, yeah. um, but I mean, that one, all the video game memes, I mean, there's mm -hmm. at least It's, it's a very good uh, puzzle game. Very yeah. good for yeah. stretching your mind. It, the AI that causes all the chaos leading you through the puzzles and responsible for everything. Yeah. That's... And the voice actress that did that character also did the, um, was the, um, you know, the, the, um, voice in the, um, Japanese, um, Jaeger, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, those, uh, movies, at least the first one, you guys know what I'm talking about. The big robots that are um, fighting the monsters. Like the kaiju the movies movie. or whatever. It's, yeah. But it was a movie. You knew which one. You know what I'm talking about, JT. I know you do. And then they did a second one. I know. I would have known the title except you asked me right now on the spot. And so, I mean. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but she did. Like she was the announcer for the countdowns, and they actually did, like, digitized her voice just like they did in the Portal game. Hmm. Well, cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, for those who are watching on YouTube, uh, that'll go ahead and do it for uh, this episode of the Gamer Guru Challenge. Yeah, we've only got a couple episodes left in the series. So with that, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.